1500 watts of solar. It's a lot of solar. It takes up, takes up our whole roof except for this section right here where the fan is. So underneath here is where our AC is, but we also have our heater. So we switch the AC out during the summer. I'm Ethan. I'm Abby. And we're gonna tell you a little bit about APA. APA is our shuttle bus, our tiny home, and it is a 97 Ford E350 Econoline gasoline engine. This is our kitchen area. So we have a propane stove that we got out of an old camper. And then we have down here, we have a big storage drawer that has our blender. It has our blender and our Instapot and big pots and pans, cutting boards. It's very, <laughs> very heavy duty because it holds a lot of heavy stuff. Behind our oven, we actually have like a built-in knife block. We really like this because our knives won't go flying while we're <laughs> driving. And next to that, we have our dish supplies, so like our scrubby brush, and then we have cleaning supplies with vinegar, and then when we do our dishes, we actually try to conserve water and use the whole spray, spray down method, and then we have hand soap. Next to that, we have our sink. We really tried to find a deep basin sink when we were building our bus, and this is actually the first thing we bought even before we bought our bus. <laughs> So we found this deep basin at Restore. We found this faucet there and we've loved it so far. Underneath we have our gray water. So we have six gallons for a gray water and then more storage for towels, dish towels. We have an extra reserve of water just in case we run out. So a five gallon uh, tank of water. So these four drawers are where all of the rest of our kitchen storage is. So at the top we have our utensils and measuring cups. And then we have, this is where all of our plates and our bowls and cups, cutting boards. We eat on cutting boards a lot. And then the next door we have all of our Tupperware and cups and hot pads. Our final drawer is the beginning of our pantry. So we have like all of our fruit and dry goods, um, some sugars, all of that. Our countertop is actually a piece of plywood. We have a three quarter inch plywood and we've layered Portland cement. So it's a white Portland cement and we did I think three or four layers and then sealed it, waterproofed it, food safed it. Um, and we really like it. It has a lot of texture, which I like and we haven't had any problems with it. We really enjoy our countertop. Underneath here, we have our fridge. It's a deep chested freezer, um, but it's a 3.5 cubic foot. And we lock it down when we drive, but when you pull it out, you can see behind. Behind it, you can see where our greenhouse regulator is. So we have a temperature regulator that makes it um, fridge temperature. <laughs> so we don't have a freezer anymore, um, which was really awesome. And so we just use this as our fridge. The bottom part gets slightly colder so we can freeze some things down there which is nice but it's only the very bottom section of our fridge that does that. I have always wanted to live in a bus. I wanted to live in one of those little VW buses that are really cute and I dreamed of that forever when I was little but I never thought I could find someone that would want to do it with me so I kind of put it on the back burner and I was like, we'll see, but I don't know if it'll actually happen. <laughs> For me, I never really popped into my mind, but I was just sick of paying rent. And it's, it was just like, it was so hard to see that much money go out of my paycheck every month. I was like, oh, that hurts so bad. And then our rent got increased at, at the beginning of 2021. And Abby always talked like, oh, when we first got married, she wanted to do it when we first got married. I was like, ah, I don't, I don't really know. I kind of <laughs> like my space. And then our rent went up. And then that's when I was like, Abby, let's do this. I'm sick of being in somebody else's hands. Let's go for it. From that point, it was two weeks later that we found this bus, bought it, and then started our build. It was just like a change. We, we just decided and we jumped in. <laughs> we didn't really plan on getting it that quick no <laughs> but we went to look at it and we, it was the first one we looked at and the guy was offering it for so much money and we're like I'm gonna I'm gonna undercut him pretty far and he's just like okay I'm like oh we're walking home with this today it was wonderful <laughs> <laughs> This is our pan.
pantry. We have sliding doors and we have a lot of storage for like our wheat flour, our white flour, our oatmeals. Then we have a ton of mason jars with like our canned goods or like our chia or any of our tea supplies that's all in there. We like to bake a lot and so I feel like our pantry is pretty extensive. Above that we have our entire spice rack and we have 20 or so spices above there. So underneath here is where our AC is, but we also have our heater. So we switch the AC out during the summer. Um, during the winter, we bring in our Mr. Buddy heater. Um, it's propane, but we have it hooked it up to our propane underneath our bus. And we actually have the heater hooked up to a thermostat so that we can run it at night and keep a good temperature so we don't wake up freezing, which we did last winter. <laughs> Um, but we also have this fan on top, which usually is used for a wood burning stove. So it's heat powered, you just put it on top um, of the heater and then it moves the warm air to the back of the bus, which has been a lifesaver. If we didn't have it, it would only be hot right here. <laughs> this is our living area. So we have a floor to ceiling closet in here. We have at the top all of our toiletries, any of our medicines. Ethan's in school, so we have books and anything that we need there. And below we have a closet section for all of our coats, our jackets, Sunday clothes, dresses, all of that. Right here is the projector screen. It's a financial aid <laughs> banner. <laughs> It's awesome. <laughs> in our actual living area, we have this nice two-seater couch and under underneath is all of the storage for our shoes. So this one is our shoes and then we have extra backpacks here um, and slippers and then any of our winter clothes. So hats and gloves, all of that for Utah's weather. Eventually, this area is going to be probably a temporary crib. Um, we're expecting and so we're going to have baby be there when they come. We actually really like spending time together. <laughs> and so when people like talk about, oh, how can you stand it? Like we enjoy it. Like I would say like 80% of the time it's like pretty good for us. <laughs> We're like, we do a lot of things together. We like to do like errands together when it gets I think it gets hard when we're both working in the bus or doing school. So last semester we were both in school. The amount yeah. of work that we're doing like on our laptops and stuff, it's really hard to be in one space together. And so trying to find public Wi-Fi to go to the library or campus, we spend a lot of time on campus um, just so we have a little bit more space. Because it is, it's hard to have like your living room, your kitchen, your workspace, all in the same box, same container. We do like spending a lot of time together. There are those times where we both, like somebody's sitting on the bed and somebody's out here and you stand up to go to the closet or to the bathroom and you either have to wait for the other person to move <laughs> or you just like scoot by them. <laughs> uh, that's hard sometimes. Abby's right though, it really hasn't been too much of a problem for us. Like we get on each other's nerves occasionally yeah but first trimester of pregnancy i was i became a very annoying human being <laughs> yes unfortunately <laughs> everything he would do like cooking smells were really hard for me and so fish when i'm in when i'm in my bed and there's like food smells going on i can't escape that unless i go into the 90 degree 100 degree weather and so that was really hard because I would just be like throwing up and I'd be running outside and <laughs> that was really hard. That was the hardest that we've had in the bus. Yeah. <laughs> this is our bedroom. We've got a full-size bed and three pillows. <laughs> um, and then we've got our, our projector above that we really like for movie night. It works by, it plugs into that outlet and then an HDMI cord runs underneath the bed, pops out here so we can put our laptop, plug our laptop in there and then it goes onto a projector screen that pulls across. This is our closet. So these just open up and put our clothes in there. Three levels, works pretty well. Under here, we've got our drawer for 
our laptops, instruments, speakers, camera. And then this is our bottom one is our hamper. Underneath the bed, we've got our bed hooked up with hydraulic arms so it lifts up. This is like our, the downstairs of our bus. Anytime we need to grab something when we're cooking or doing anything else, it's like running downstairs. So we've got our electrical in this corner over here, and then we've got a 3000 watt inverter and 450 amp hours of battery. On our roof, we've got 1500 watts of solar. It's a lot of solar. It takes up, takes up our whole roof, except for this section right here where the fan is. There's like 25 inches that doesn't have solar panels. And then those feed into our 100 amp MPPT charge controller. In the back is more long-term storage for things we don't need. Like now it's winter, our summer stuff is back there. And then our 55 gallon water tank in the back and our food storage. One of the cons that's coming to my mind right now is we can only have one person cook in the kitchen at a time or else we're just running into each other. <laughs> and that was something we really like to do in our apartment. We love to cook together and can't do that as much here. We still do it a little bit. We just pull out the fridge. Abby will sit on the bed and cut stuff. Or, <laughs> so that, that's a little harder. The 100 degree weather in the summer was pretty hard. We spent a lot of time outside of the bus. Yeah. That's challenging for sure. I think the pros, we save a ton of money. <laughs> we t save a ton of money and we're in control of when that increases or decreases. Obviously when gas prices threw us for a loop, that was a little difficult. <laughs> um, but for the most part, like we're in control of how much we're paying. We get to decide how far we go. Um, because we're students, we're in the same valley, we've been here, so we don't travel a ton. Um, so we really can decide how much we're driving. The other big pro is that we just, we plan out our week and we just go wherever we're gonna be the next day. And so we just wake up wherever we need to be. And so now it's gotten to the point where like a seven minute drive, we're like, oh my gosh, that is so far <laughs> away. I don't wanna drive there. <laughs> and like, that's different from like the weekends when we drive up to the mountains or to family's houses. But like, for just like normal things, we're like, the store is like three miles away. I don't know if that's like worth it. Maybe we should wait till we're like just by the store <laughs> and then we'll just go when we're there. Uh, we're, so we've been, we're kind of lazy with that now, but it's been really nice to just go to sleep and wake up where we need to be. You don't have to worry about traffic. That's been awesome. I love that. <laughs> this is the very front of our bus. The first thing you see when you come through those doors We've got our archway, that's a new addition. Super excited about that. I learned how to do that from some special effects guys that work on movies. And then we've got our wall that holds our two switches, the one that opens our bus doors and controls our lights. And then we've got our blackout curtain that we can roll up or push to the side so that we can be dark at night so nobody knows we're in here. And then over here, we've got our door to our cab. We've got a, a lock on it that we usually lock at night. And then up here, we've got our calendar, but above, under our calendar, we've got things like long-term um, toiletry storage in over here and up there, Abby's yoga mat, some bus project supplies for when we do more projects on the bus, tools, and then we've got our blankets up here. We've got our bathroom here on this sliding door. So this door was inspiration behind Abby. She really likes this look. That's why you see it throughout our whole bus in our kitchen and under our bed. It has a cool feel to it. Um, and we just like sliding doors cause they don't have to open and get in the way. And so it slides, it's kind of on a slant cause we used a level, but our bus wasn't level when we built it. And so it's like kind of slanted because our doorway is just barely slanted. So it's level with the ground, but not inside the bus. And then inside, we've got our self-made DIY composting toilet. Uh, underneath that is our composting material in a little drawer. If it was up to Abby, we, we made a lot of compromises when we were building the bus. She wanted a, a, a nature's head composting toilet. I'm like, let's just do it ourselves. I like to save money. I'm an accountant. So I'm like, yeah, no, let's just, let's just do it all. If we could go back, we would probably get a nature's head because it's just been so hard to get it to work, but finally to a good place where we, we like how it's working. 
And then we've got our shower. The rainfall shower head was something we always wanted in our apartment. We just had a stinky, dumb shower head. And then we got this one and it's pretty good. It was a little hard at first because we didn't have a water heater. But now that it's actually gets warm water, it feels nice just coming on top of you. Thanks for coming into our home and seeing our space with us. If you want to stay connected, we do have a following on Instagram and YouTube. Bless this bus. You can find us there. Also, if, if you have any bookkeeping needs, I started up a bookkeeping business. We focus on small businesses, one to 10 employees, and really excited about helping businesses grow and make consistent profits. So if you need help with that, We've also got a link down below. And I'm in the midst of creating my own business. It's a menstrual coaching business, and I use yoga as my tool for that. And so that is up and coming. So get involved with us, stay. Um, as long as you stay in the conversation on our Instagram, we'll let you know when that's coming. Thanks for coming by, checking out our house. Hope to see you guys on the road. Mm -hmm.